What's up everyone, I'm Brian Petty and I'm here at Crowart with my good friend Shane and today we're talking about camshafts. You guys make a lot of different valve train components and even rotating assembly components for engines and I think a daunting task can be degreeing the camshaft correctly and that's what we're talking about today. Absolutely, uh, the biggest thing is camshaft is essentially the brain of the engine and it tells the engine where to make power at so it's got to be in 100% accurate for it to make power where it should. So Shane, talk to me about the tools that we need to do this task. Really nothing special at all, we're basically just doing Harbor Freight stuff here. This is your basic stop dial indicators from Harbor Freight, um, a magnetic base from Harbor Freight, and then this is just a coat hanger, a bolt, and a nut. Uh, essentially your harmonic balancer, and then this is one of our Crower degree wheels. Nothing special. So what is the very first step we need to take when we're degreeing the camshaft in this bad boy? First thing we need to do is find top dead center and make sure that the pointer, which is our coat hanger, is on zero so that way we know the exact point of when this is at top dead center. So I know that the pointer is made from a coat hanger. <laughs> coat hanger. <laughs> does, that, does that work okay? Or I mean, does it need to be made of something specific? No, it, it's actually the best because it, it's flexible and then it allows you, if you're a little off, you can actually just bend it to where it needs to be. It works really good. Perfect. It's simple. And so we're going to just move it around and move it to uh, top dead center. And we're going to do the 50,000 method on this one also, 50 before and 50 after, because the piston rock, the piston will stay, but the crank can move almost five, six degrees before it actually goes. So. We're going to go up here to 50 thousandths before. It can be a little, little time consuming because it's really easy to go over or under and you got to give it a little bit of love as I see you're doing. Yeah, exactly. And also too on this, you just, you just take your time, you know, if you mess up, just back it up, you know, 50 thousandths and pull it back in in the rotation. So the first one here, we got 12 degrees. Okay. So then we're going to bring it back up to zero. And if you notice, it's going to stay at zero for just a second and then come back down. And 50 thousandths there is 12 degrees. So now that we found top dead center, what's the very next step we gotta take? Got a cam card right there for you. We provide this with every single camshaft. Duration on this one is 250 on the intake, 260 on the exhaust with a load separation of 106. This particular camshaft has one degree advance put in it, so we're gonna intake this at 105 on the intake centerline method. So what we're gonna do, first step, is going to be taking this and rolling this over so the intake is at top dead center. We're going to set that to zero. And right now you're watching this dial indicator on the lifter. That's correct because if you see this is essentially the exhaust coming up right now and then this would be your overlap right now and now the intake is going to start coming up. So as the intake comes up, we're going to dial it around till we hit zero. So now we know that we're at true top dead on that lift. Now I'm going to back it back up to 100 thousandths down so that way we degree this in the natural rotation of the engine. So as we come up to 50 here, you got a calculator there. If you could type in uh, 62.5 please. Yep. And now we're going to come back up to max lift and if you watch it, it dwells slightly there and then it comes back down. can be a little tricky to get those things just right. Oh, uh, that's why you just tap your hand slightly, you know what I mean? Uh, and then we're going to put 147 and a half. Plus 147 and a half? Plus 147 and a half. Now, we got to, since we're taking two numbers, we're putting in the center, we have to take that answer and divide it by two. 210 divided by two, 105. So there it is, exactly right on. And in Crower, you usually have it set up right, but if it didn't come out right, we do have another couple ways to do this. You can take this off, you can drill that out, and we have little insert buttons if you're like in a claimer class where you have to run a stock timing chain. So you can put different degree buttons in there to bring it back into time. Or we also sell a hex adjust to where you don't have to break down any of this. You can adjust it right here and then re-degree it just with the lobe method and then see if it's 100% on right away. And you can use those options if it's not exactly on where it's supposed to be, correct? That is correct, exactly. But since this one was right on, we're good to go. And what kinds of situations would something not come out exactly as the cam card said it should? Well, there's a thing called stack tolerances. If you're a keyway, um, a lot of these parts are made overseas, so some places have a, they'll have a little bit of a 
uh, a slack here, then the chain slightly off, and then the chain coming up here, and the hole is drilled. And now whatever happens one time up top is two times down below since the crankshaft moves twice as fast as the camshaft. So if you're one degree off down below, that's, that's or up top, it's only two degrees down below. So it, with the stack tolerance is that can happen, this is why you do this. And that's why you always pull it in the rotation of the engine. So that way you know it's not pulling the slack side. And are there any other steps or any other difficulties that you hear about, you see, you talk to people to try and fix? Yes, there's a lot. Uh, a lot of people think that degreeing a cam means lining up the dots. That just gets you close. Uh, we lined up the dots and we got lucky on this one right here on the first time. But a lot of times lining up the dots will just get you close because of the stack tolerances. It's imperative that you check the cam shaft. These things are just air pumps that have two strokes that make them an engine. And so if you get the air in and the air right at the right time, it's what's going to make the max power. That's perfect. Thank you, Shane, so much for walking us through step by step on a degree. And if anybody has any questions or they're looking to buy one of your camshafts and maybe some of your other degree wheel and geometry stuff, where can they go? Crower. Crower.com. Or they can even uh, call us up here at the shop anytime. And we have a great website. And I'm on the live chat. So if you, even if you don't want to talk to someone while you're doing this, you can also live chat me right on there. Perfect. Alrighty. Thank you, Shane, so much. And make sure to stay up to date with everything on your engine at enginelabs.com.